Good morning. 8 a.m. And it's coming to town. All right. Let's just back out here and get right after it, shall we? Oh, I actually haven't picked up. I don't know. I haven't picked a song. Usually I pick a song before I get in the vehicle. I haven't picked one. I don't know what to. Mm. All right. Pick the song. Let's go. It's go time. It is time to set the tone. Nah. It's fucking wakey, wakey time. Woo! All right. That's fucking go. Oh, we are off to the gym. First of two beautiful trainings. A little tip of the day for you. Okay. If you don't set the tone, the tone will be set for you. All right. If you don't start your day off right, it could still be a good day, but now you're just flipping a coin. Yeah. Oh, gonna have a absolutely deadly, ferocious killer first training and second training because i say so and what i say goes okay you know what i'm just fucking driving for two minutes here i got nothing to talk about let's play another song shall we two one two three four i need to get some subs in this bitch <laughs> All right, let's fucking go. We're like nearing to the gymish now. <sighs> you know, you gotta have a, you gotta have a pretty unstable, crazy mindset to to do this shit that I do every day. You know, double trainings, pretty much every single day. Showing up to the gym every single day. Pretty much not allowing yourself to have off days. You'll still have off days, but you just gotta be in the head to be able to train this much, this consistently and to vlog and edit and post it every day too this consistently oh you know some people some people think it's like it's a crazy mindset type of thing like i'm training insane but really it's just like it's simple it's a very simple mindset is what it takes of just doing the same thing every day over and over and over you know what do you what do you mean it's simple it's simple you just have to do the exact same thing eat the same thing go to bed at the same time every single day the exact same over and over and over getting a little bit better better every day. To do it super consistently is crazy, but it's simple. When you put it all together and you look back on all of it, it's just very simple stuff that not everyone wants to do. Fucking no one wants to do it, okay? I don't want to do it, but I want I want that end result more than how badly I don't want to do it, you know? All right. Good car ride. Fucking got hyped. Usually I take a little nap before this training but i decided to just go a little bit earlier instead and here we are fucking red zone dead zone kill zone war zone so yeah let's get to work shall we all right and stand conditioning let's go oh. all right pirouettes forward reverse three my good way Three my bad way. Ah, it's impossible. Do an early pirouette my bad way. So hard. I right, reverse. All right, one bar, swing the handstands. <laughs> All right, Japanese handstand. Fun yet? Oh. Stop. Stop. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, 
felt so weird. I can mess up kicking up to handstand three times. But then the fourth time I got up and I hold it for a minute without moving. Dandy. Oh, okay, pirouettes, five. Pirouettes, three of them have to be held. <laughs> One. Two. Three. Four. Oh my gosh, no way, let's go. Five for five. Ah, deadly. All right, all right, all right. Uh, lift, sit up things. Okay, 30, all three ways. jumps and a lunge walks forward and backwards and i'm going to swing the rope for no reason at all other than because this next clip's going to be sped up so i just want the rope to look like this after i finish editing it just because it'll be funny okay ready let's go oh the rope stops so soon that's i thought it would go on for like at least half of it <sighs> okay, we're done. Yeah, that was good. It's good, good fun. <sighs> Bitch. All right, forgot to bring this up right the car ride video or car ride talk or whatever at the start of the video. I forgot to do kips on the P bars yesterday. Fuck. I don't know how I forgot. The whole day, all the way leading up till P bars, I was remembering kips. And then right before I went to P bars, I remember doing the kips. I even said it to the video after I did my first routine that I'm gonna do three of them. And then I did the half routine and just completely forgot. And then didn't remember until I got home last night I was editing. Like I legit completely forgot. So we're gonna do extra today to make up for that. A little bullshit excuse. Oh, and also we're almost at the half year mark. Someone commented it the other day saying how it's almost and a half year and then I searched up or I just did the math but it was 183 days 182.6 so tomorrow's title I'll have like half a year of vlogging like in the thumbnail not in the title but in the thumbnail oh this is cool half a year recording every single day of my life of my training without missing a single day it's pretty insane but uh yeah rings we got the rings now ring strength two to three sets of uh we don't have the yellow things like yesterday so we're gonna do the plot jump L sit shadow press you know what we normally do on the rings here. Just like the 10 second holds of everything. Yeah, first set warm up and then we'll get started. All right, warm up set. Okay, feeling all right. I'll sit never feels good. I hate I'll sit. Okay, time for the real, real shit now. All right, first set. good set all right last set i always say two to three sets because uh two sets is the goal two good sets pretty much same with like palm or high bar like any events when i say two to three if my first set is like i felt weak or wasn't very good then i'll do like two more but like that first set felt like pretty good so then we only have to do one more unless for some reason the second set's worse than the first set then we'll do a third one but like, you know what i mean all right
Okay, all right, that's good. It's good ring strength. See the first one? Almost held the straight by flash. No big deal. Whatever. Go. Let's go to vault. Hopefully, I can fucking run today. All right, today's goal for vault. I would say two and a half, but if I can do a, just a decent double twist onto the mats at this height, I will be happy because this is actually higher than comp height, which is good. So we're going to go for double twists at above comp height, which will be tough. So if I can do one good double twist on there, I'd be happy. And then if for some reason they're so good that I can do a two and a half at this height, okay, no, scratch that. For some reason, the double twists are really good on landing them at this height. We'll get rid of one mat and we'll go for two and a half. Yeah, that's funny. It is Hi, that's, this is probably the highest I've ever done it. Other than when I used to do it at like platform height where it was like same height as the vault. But yeah, all right, let's warm up, let's get started. Two hand springs, one full, two double twists, maybe two fulls and one double twist, we'll see. All right, hopefully I can fucking run today. Now this pussy shit that we did yesterday, all right? All right, hand spring number one. Okay, the running feels a little bit better. Let's try not to jinx it now though, because it was just the first turn, but the running does feel better already than yesterday's fucking running. Okay, let's keep going. Hand spring number two. Oh yeah. We running today, bitch, okay. I can actually run. Deadly, let's do the full twist now, hey? Full twist number one. Hell yeah, fuck yeah. I felt pretty good. That was fucking money. Watched it back. Oh, now remember, mat height is like above comp level ground, so that's like, it was a good full. I think so. Because like getting rid of that top mat would make it a little bit, like probably about the same as comp height, but like where it's at right now, it's higher than comp height, and that full is good. So double twist now. Double twist number one. All right. You know, I was really hoping Vault would go good, and it's going way better than I thought. I didn't think it would go well enough to the point where I'd actually attempt the two and a half, but yeah, let's fucking get rid of that top mat there and go for a two and a half, because that double twist is actually pretty fucking good. So weird. Yesterday, like, shit, absolute shit. Probably one of my worst, like, not one of my worst vault sessions, but like worst feeling vault session I've had in a long time. The session was still right, but now like today's vault, feel good, it is good, fuck. Just complete swap. But yeah, get rid of the top mat. We'll go for two and a half, all right? So two and a half to us, number one. Yeah! Hell yeah, hell yeah. Fuck yeah, that was so good. Oh, get out of my kitchen. All right, that's probably one of the best gosh darn two and a halfs I've ever done in my whole gosh darn life. I didn't, I didn't even need to get rid of that mat. I could have left the mat in and I probably still would have landed it. It's crazy. You say worst fall session in a long time. Today, best vault session ever. And I only did like four vaults. Sweet. All right, got landings now. One stick of everything, and then we're out of here. Why was it the one and a half that I stuck first try, but like almost every other thing took two tries? Like the front duck, what the fuck? It was good, it was good. Ball was good, ring strength was good, landings were good, hand sand condition was good. Fucking everything was good today. It was a good morning training, okay? Now let's carry this momentum on, you know, this tone that we have set on a second training, shall we? So, and a first train. See you guys in second training. Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the gym. Welcome to second training. Just over by my bag here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Spitfire. Go with their older bottles. Royal Rush. Their new ones, uh, Spitfire version 2. Go Ash 10. Okay. Continuing. We're still over in my bag. But let's go over to the floor. Okay. Again, start on the floor. The little guys are just on the floor, so I'm just going to record this before I walk over there. So I'm not distracting them talking to the camera because I know that they're going to watch me instead of listening to their coach. So yeah, that's why I'm just talking over here first. But yeah, the goal for floor today is just to like land a half half. Land a double double. Hopefully it doesn't hurt too too much. I know I know it's gonna hurt, but hopefully it's not too too much. So I can keep working working up to it. Yeah. It's kinda stupid how my whole death thing on the rings at Grizzly was all just destroying my ankles. Didn't really hurt 
anything else, just my ankles. Which, it's not fucking with vault, which is nice. It's not messing with any of the other events. It's mainly just like landings on floor. Not even floor itself, not the run, not the punch, just the landings. Which is a little, a little weird, but you know, it's mainly if I under rotate and like come into the landing like this. I feel like I say it every time I go to the floor, but every time I land like that, under rotating, hurts. It has to be damn near perfect of a landing for it to not hurt at all. So yeah, land a couple triples, land one double-double, land one half-half, uh, yeah, and that should be it for floor, okay? Nothing extra, that's the goal, let's get it done, okay? Well, let's go. The only way I land that skill, double double, two flips, two twists, is if I do it fucking like perfect, like super nice. So we're gonna take a step down to the half half. Goal is to land that. I just put another uh, good old half a roll of tape on the ankles. Cause I did the double double. I was really here. I wasn't like forward. Cause I've landed ones where I went like this. That one was kind of like here, which hurt a lot. So if I if I under rotate, like actually under rotate, fuck. Yeah, I don't even want to go into detail about it, but you get the point. So uh, land a half half, land a triple. If I can figure out a nice half half where I like land fucking good, it'll help with the double double. Ah, so yeah, let's fucking pitter patter now. Fucking landing one. I'm landing one, I swear. Fuck. Wasn't very good. Alright, that's the end floor. Let's uh let's discuss, shall we? It's not so much that the landings are you know bad, it's that at the very like the flip and everything it's good. And at the very end, instead of like opening up and landing, I'm staying tucked in and uh, it's like out of fear of the pain. Because if I under rotate just a little too much, so like last it's going good and I'm like focused, I'm like gonna land it, gonna land it, gonna land it. And then I just pull in right at the end, like last second out of fear, which is annoying. It's kind of like when I was first learning release moves. The beat would be good and then I'll go for the colon, but at the very end I would just pull a little bit out of fear just because I didn't want to be too close to the bar. It's the same kind of idea going on here. It's just me being just a little bit afraid right at the last second and it just fucks it all up, which is just really annoying. We landed one triple, we landed one half half. The landings both fucking sucked. Those are not good landings. I'm not, not really happy with those landings. All right, that's it. That's all for my round. Let's go to P-Bars now and let's, uh, let's reset the tone here, shall we? Fuck floor, it can suck it. Ah, set the tone. Yes, sir. Wakey, wakey. All right, all warmed up, ready to go, routine time, okay? Let's make our grip and let's get one good routine and be done with P-Bars, okay? All right, we got the grip made. We are ready to go. Time to set a new tone, okay? P-Bar routine, number one. Yeah. Uh, 
Turn on, okay, okay. P bars is good. Uh, I would do more half routines and shit, but as you guys know how Wednesdays go, Wednesdays is kind of whatever I want to do, but it always ends up being P bars and high bar, and then sometimes some other stuff, but I always end up doing P bars and high bars. So we're just gonna leave it till tomorrow, and then I'll do my half routine shit tomorrow with extra dismounts and stuff. So that's why I'm not gonna do extra now. Ah, oh, fuck, I remembered kips. We have to do kips, I fucking, like that's my, that's my legitimate reaction right there. I was about to go to high bar. I would have forgot, fuck yeah. Let's go. Okay, my hands are super fucking sore, so we'll just do it till they're super, super fucking sore, and then we'll stop, okay? Oh! Spicy! Oh! Oh no! <laughs> all right, we did all three of them. Let's fuck off now. We go to high bar. All right, welcome to high bar. We are gonna warm up, obviously, and uh, probably do a routine. As long as everything like you know feels good, we'll do a routine. Because uh, high bar routine yesterday was good. So like maybe if I want, I can work some skills today. Today we had to do a P-bar routine for sure because the P-bar routine yesterday wasn't great. But yeah, right. high bar was all right yesterday. Plus the skills were good yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll warm up and then we'll decide. Right. It's probably going to end up just being my easy routine and I'll work skills after. But my hands are fucking sore. All right, absolute cold turkey routine. Cold friggin' jerky, bitch. That's too full, it's fucking killer. Talk about how high it is. That's it? Yeah. All right, we're gonna change the battery first because I'm not risking that, but then we're gonna do some quas, three quas, and then we're done high bar. It's a good high bar day. A fucking absolutely cold turkey high bar routine, so you know, that's a win in my book. All the costs are just getting better and better. Four, 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 four! Yeah! Louder! No. It's not that exciting. Yeah! Okay, we can go to Palmo now. What's up, guys? We're done high bar. Let's go to Palmo. Okay, let's warm up. Let's get started. Warming up Palmo. It's not. Oh, uh, it's not fun. There's nothing sleep is I did it! Oh, yeah, let's just go for the routine. Alright, Paul routine, number one. 
Like a magnet. Okay, we did technically hit the routine, but we missed skills because we just saved it. So we're gonna do another. Our routine number two. All right, good stuff. Hit the routine, pretty, pretty clean, I'd say. Hit a high bar routine, hit a palm routine, hit a P bar routine. To be fair, I landed the two of the three things I said I wanted to land on floor. The landings weren't great, but we're just gonna use back on floor. Ball was fucking unreal. Ring strength was felt better than normal. Good, it was a fucking absolutely dandy day, okay? So yeah, that's it. We're gonna cut her off here and I'm gonna go home. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. If you watched the full video and enjoyed it, glad to hear that. If you watched the full video, let's comment the word green. G-R-E-E-N. Green. Spelled it right this time. Let's go. All right, thanks for watching. Bye, I love you.